Chicago Sky rookie Angel Reese has publicly criticized the media and the WNBA for their failure to address the persistent issue of racism in women's basketball, a problem that has now reached a tipping point. In a series of candid posts, Reese expressed her frustration at the lack of accountability in the media's role in allowing racially motivated hate to fester, not just toward her but toward other players as well. The renewed focus on racism within the WNBA came to light after Connecticut Sun All-Star Alyssa Thomas called out the Indiana Fever fan base for directing racial slurs and derogatory comments at her and other players during the Sun's playoff victory. Following their series clinching 87-81 win over the Fever, Thomas addressed the media, saying, I've never been called the things that I've been called on social media, and there's no place for it. She condemned the hateful behavior as unacceptable, and highlighted how deeply the issue of racism continues to affect players in the league. In response to Thomas's remarks, the WNBA issued a statement condemning all racist, derogatory, or threatening comments aimed at its players. The league stressed that it is monitoring threat-related activity and would be working with teams, venues, and law enforcement to ensure player safety and address any further incidents. While the league acknowledged the importance of fostering a growing fan base, it was adamant that such hateful behavior would not be tolerated. The WNBA will not tolerate racist, derogatory, or threatening comments made about players, teams, and anyone affiliated with the league, the statement read. However, for Reese, this statement came too late. She noted that she has been vocal about the racial abuse she's endured for some time but was continuously dismissed by the media and others in positions of power. Reese took to social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, to express her frustration, writing, The media has benefited from my pain and me being villainized to create a narrative. Y'all a little late to the party and could have tried to put out this fire way before it started. She called out those who ignored her past pleas for help and accountability, stating that their inaction contributed to the escalation of racism in the league. Reese has long been at the center of media attention, particularly because of the ongoing comparisons between her and fellow 2024 WNBA rookie Caitlin Clark. The two players, who rose to prominence during their collegiate basketball careers at LSU and Iowa respectively, have often been portrayed as rivals. While their on-court talents have significantly boosted viewership for the WNBA, Reese argued that the media's narrative surrounding their rivalry has often been toxic, fueling divisiveness and opening the door for racially motivated attacks against her. Reese pointed out that her mother had shared several examples of the racist messages that have been sent to her daughter by so-called fans of the WNBA who support Caitlin Clark. While Clark has publicly expressed support for Reese and condemned the racism directed at her, the backlash Reese faces continues to reflect a larger problem in sports where black athletes are disproportionately subjected to hate compared to their white counterparts. In one of her posts, Reese acknowledged that other players are now experiencing the same treatment she has endured. I sometimes share my experiences of things that have happened to me but I've also allowed this to happen to me for way too long and now other players in this league are dealing with and experiencing the same things, she wrote. Reese made it clear that while criticism of a player's performance is expected in professional sports, anything that goes beyond that, particularly racial abuse, is unacceptable. This isn't okay at all, she emphasized. Anything beyond criticism about playing the game we love is wrong. I'm sorry to all the players that have, continue to experience the same things I have. Reese has taken steps to regain control of her own narrative, launching a podcast titled Unapologetically Angel, where she speaks directly to her audience about her experiences, both on and off the court. This is why I started my podcast, to take my voice back and create the narrative of who I really am, she explained. While she expressed doubts that the issue of racism would ever be fully resolved, Reese stressed the need for change, even if she wasn't expecting an apology. At the end of the day, I don't want an apology nor do I think this will ever stop but something has to change, she wrote. Reese's decision to speak out comes at a time when the WNBA is experiencing a surge in popularity, with its 2024 rookie class, including stars like Reese and Clark, driving increased viewership and engagement. However, as this newfound visibility has brought more attention to the league, it has also magnified the challenges that players, particularly black players, face. The WNBA's statement following the backlash from fans at the Indiana Fever game underscores the gravity of the situation, but for Reese and others, the league and media outlets' response has been long overdue. The tension between players' on-court successes and the off-court hate they receive is a growing concern that the WNBA will have to address more directly as the league continues to expand its fan base. As Reese continues to make her voice heard both on her podcast and on social media, the conversation surrounding racism in women's sports is gaining traction. The hope is that these discussions will lead to more effective measures being taken to protect players from hate and to hold those who perpetuate it accountable.